Rock. KISW. Our next yeah. guest, he's the opposite of Mayor Nichols, Howard Schultz, and Clay Bennett. Thank you, God. He gives a crap about sports in Seattle. Uh, Please welcome to the show Seattle's biggest sports fan, Big Low, along with a couple. Up, Seattle? Oh, yeah. And he's here with a couple of the event organizers for the Big Low event. Brian, also known as Hawk Fiend, and Chris, also known as Wee Hawk. Woo! Oh, there you go. And, of course, we've seen uh, Hawk Fiend and Wee Hawk uh, many times at the stadium, at Quest Field. And uh, really, you know oh, what? Yeah. I mean, seriously, fine representatives of the 12th man right here as we have Bing Low, uh, we have Big Low, Hawk Fiend, and, of course, uh, Wee Hawk. So am I going to be able to see everybody that I'm talking to? Because people are hiding behind a bo- uh, thing. Well, here we it's go. It's just Hawk Fiend's uh, by the mic, but uh, Wee Hawk's videotaping this for uh, oh. Spirit of 12th Man. Oh, yeah, you might have a tough time seeing me. I have lost 116 pounds now. <laughs> Look at you, dude. Really? 116 pounds. Yeah, I like totally lost a chick. It was really <laughs> yeah, you really did. You really That's did. Awesome. It's weird. I've got a face again, you know. It's like I, I I actually feel my Adam's apple again. I might <laughs> see it soon. But my, my goal is to lose another 120 pounds. Whoa! And uh, get up on the uh, little platform that I've got and take advantage and start talking to people about diabetes and how important it is to stay away from sugars and stuff because, you know, I mean, it was killing me uh, about... Uh, two and a half, three months ago, I ended up in Harborview with uh, some abscesses in my leg that ulcerated. They oh. had to do two surgeries in a couple days. I was in ICU for about four days. Boy, let me tell you, morphine is fun. <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend it to kids. No. Talk about, you know, I mean, I was hitting the button and take a train to Happy Town. <laughs> woo, woo! Oh, that, boy. You know, I've never had that happen. Um, You've never had exactly. the button? Never had the button. Oh, you, and, don't, you don't want the button. No, because that no. means you're in rough shape. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, because uh, the pain is that bad. Oh, it's been a wild oh. ride. You know, oh. I'm, still, I'm still walking around with these big old holes in my leg. Uh, they have healed a lot. Uh, doctors are really impressed with, with what's going on with me. Um, I've come down the 116 pounds since December. Uh, my blood glucose level was 13.9, which was horrible. What is were, what's it supposed to be? Like uh, they want you between 4 and 6. Oy. And, oh, boy. Oy, oy, oy. Last yeah. week I was told I have hit 5.9. Wow. So nice. I'm, uh, it's, it's a huge victory. I mean, it's just it's really incredible how far I've come along. My attitude towards life has totally changed. I'm just, you know, I'm excited to be alive again with the exception of the Supersonics leaving town. That, that sucks. That, but, that uh, suck. You know, I mean... Got soccer coming. I've been going to the Storm games, and, uh, you know, it's how, just... How tough is it to go to these sporting events and not eat the food? Because I find that, you know what, that is part of my experience. And I did six ball games in a row being a big baseball fan, and I was in Anaheim here in Seattle. And I found, man, it's hard to get away from... Because, again, ballpark food... You know, in most places, you can't really get the greatest of choices, but I still want to have all the peanuts, the popcorn, the kettle corn, the pizza. I mean, I just love it. It, to me, is part of the experience. I'm drooling just how talking you, about this. How do, you, so. how do you do it, Big Low? Now you go there, and obviously you're not going to eat the way you used to. It's not about dieting. You know, the, the big thing is decision-making. Um, it's not willpower. It's won't power. I won't eat that burger. Oh, I, I won't it. eat that. You know, I mean, it's it's really it's a really big change. For me, as as far as the way I've been eating, um, I have a lot of vegetables. Obviously, you know, uh, this situation you're in, it was not what you expected. I mean, y- y- maybe in the back of your mind you knew, you know what? I mean, I keep traveling down this road. Something's going to happen. Uh, and uh, But, you know, probably just thought, I'm going to just do what I do in my life. You know, it's pleasure and I'm going to whatever. And finally you got hit with, okay, you go to the hospital, you're faced with a, a dramatic life change or a dramatic life end if you don't. Uh, but that, you know, now, of course, you, that's a big thing. And so you got some folks who love what you've done for this city, and they're holding a benefit for you to sort of help, what, defray the costs of what you've had to deal with in order to get your life back together? Yeah. You know, I mean, it's been being out of work uh, since early May. Uh, I haven't been to work, and it's just been really, really tough. You know, uh, the bills are mounting up, mounting, mounting up, I should say. Uh, it's really incredible. These guys came and visited me in the hospital, and Brian tells me, hey, we're going to do a benefit for you. Do you hey. mind? And I'm like, excuse me? Now, you may know Brian. Brian is, of course, Hawk Fiend, who uh, I've seen many times when they're, well, you know what, when they're shooting around the stands during every yeah. game. Dude, he's got the killer mask, yeah. man. It's fantastic. And, uh, uh, Brian, it's good to have you in. And so you are one of the organizers uh, of this uh, of this event for basically Seattle's biggest fan. And, and in many ways, not just by size, but really, uh, he's made himself very famous for how you know much of a fan he is. Uh, and so, Brian, this is your baby in a way that you, you've helped start. Not just my baby, no. I mean, 
Lowe's a staple, like you said. So there's there's a number of people helping out. It's myself, Chris, who's got the camera here, and Shannon Love. The three of us have been mostly working for it towards the event, August 17th, Last Supper Club, by the way, 4 to 11 p.m. And there's about 25 or 30 people. Actually, two, 300 people have all jumped on board to help, help out Lowe as fast as possible. So. So this is a big event. It's the 12th Fan Gives Back, a benefit for Seattle's biggest fan. And like you said, it's uh, Sunday, August 17th at the Last Supper Club, uh, starting at 4, going all the way to 11. It's an all-ages show, though you do get to be treated like a VIP if you're 21 and over. You get to do a VIP thing if you want to. The separate VIP passes. Uh, there you go. So if you're tw- But you have to be 21 and over to get the VIP pass. And that's $75 instead of just 25 Okay, so that's a nice deal. Live music, which is great, out from underneath, the Joshua Kane Band, Jeffrey Castle. And uh, Seahawk players will be there as well, signing uh, autographs, doing pictures. Again, all the help benefit Seattle's biggest fan. And that really is impressive to me yeah. that you've got some of the Hawks guys that are going to go out there and, and give back to basically what Big Low and guys like you and guys like Chris do. I mean, making this the best stadium for any home football team in the NFL. And uh, from what I understand, uh, Chris Egan from King 5 going to be there, including Double R and Steve the Producer. How about Woo! that? Yeah. How about that? Nice. Right. How'd you you got to go that? see those guys. I just can't wait to see what that? Double R's got in store for me. Oh, wow. Boy. How'd you nail that down? That's amazing. And Who knows people? <laughs> That's fan- And tickets are available at brownpapertickets.com. That's brownpapertickets.com. Human Tetris game? Yes! Have you seen it with the hot Italian chicks? Yes! This is awesome. Look at this chick. She's got to get through that. It's called the Human Tetris game. They're actually bringing this to... It's a Japanese game, big surprise. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, look out, look out. She's going to drop. Loser. There's a really funny one, though, where like the girl had to go spread eagle. It's awesome. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, there it is. Watch this one. This one's so hot. Oh, man. Yeah. Open up. <laughs> she can't she doesn't even make it. That's awesome. <laughs> this is the greatest show ever. Yeah, that's fantastic. Oh, the replay. Let's Good night, another one. Let's check out another. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look out. She made it? I uh, kind of. Does it count if she gets through? As long as you get through, I guess it's all good. Look at oh, that. Oh, wow. wow. I thought you'd have to get through you the way you have to get through. You really get f***ed up in that thing, too. <laughs> yeah. You get hung up. You can really snap something. <laughs> all right, here we go. Here's Watch another this. one. I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, she is hot. Wow, I love this thing. Do put them in the Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. The flying V. Oh, wow. Here we go. Come bring it. Oh, yeah. You got oh, it. You got whoa, it. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, hey. yeah. Nice. She made it. That, that That's a great show. That's a good show. Look oh, out. He's on him. Look at this. Oh, he's just like Mr. He's, he's like Mr. Sandman. Oh, yeah. He's, exactly oh, he's like, got a whole different... Look at him. That's how yeah. Mr. Sandman used to fight in the arcade. With, with the uppercuts? Yep. Just like that. Uppercut. But then he's, he does something different. Dude, this guy's rocking Tyson. Yeah, because you, you can only get two shots. One, two, then you can't let them hit you. One, two, then you duck. One, two. You got hit on that one. Yeah, though. one, two. You can only... Oh, there he oh, and there he's oh. down. Yeah, but he'll yeah. get back up. Yeah, that's all you could do with Mr. Sandman, too, man. You couldn't do more than two punches. It was a left hook, right hook, and then you had to get ready for a dodge. Oh, four or five. Whoa, he's down. Is he's he getting up? up? Oh, at an eight oh, count. Oh, here we go. Oh, he'll have lots of life. Yeah. Waiting. <laughs> yeah, one, two, that's it. One, two, that's it. <laughs> One, oh, then he goes for a body blow. There you go. You just have to... One, that's oh, all you I'll get. Oh, battle. That's, you just get one when he does the body blows. That's all you get. One. Wow. And you have to see. That's the thing. You have to just be patient. I never paid attention that much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No wonder why I never beat Tyson. Four. Five. Oh, he's getting up. Oh, his, he got up quick, so his life won't go that far. Hurry up. Hurry up. Get him. One, oh. That's it. One. He's got to start throwing some uppercuts so you can get two shots in. But you got to be patient. Pressure's on. There he goes. Oh, there he is. It's just, yeah, he's just doing the one Eight shot. Seconds. He's done. Yeah. He beat Tyson. Is that it? He beat Tyson. TKO. He's a winner. He beat Mike Tyson. I, I, I. He never got touched. I'll have him. I'll have him till he let me. The BJ Shea Morning Experience on 99.9 KISW.